Living architecture is going to transform our lives because we'll actually finally have a technology that's not bad for the environment, but actually can help us manage it responsibly. So what living architecture does uniquely is that it possesses some of the properties of living systems without being alive. So for example, if you coated your building with a paint that was not only white and could reflect solar radiation, but could also capture carbon dioxide to make the white paint and literally eat carbon dioxide and then change colour when it was full so that you knew to paint it again. So it's not alive because it can't reproduce itself, but it's doing something more than what you'd expect of a very reflexive material. And a key project that we um, were designing was the reclamation of the city of Venice using almost like an extensive version of this paint, where you'd add these little oil droplets that you put chemistry into, smart chemistry, and literally they would move under the foundations of Venice and stop it sinking into the mud by offloading the, the weight of the city over a much larger surface area. Living technology that would underpin living architecture, like a smart paint, for example, could be available in three to five years. Again, it's a question of investment. Uh, obviously, you know, more sophisticated technologies, such as living facades, where we actually have whole window panes, maybe porous window panes, that are able to process materials and, and make nutrients for our building, um, will be a few years down the line, maybe 20 to 30 years away. But um, it could be quite imminent.